right, here we are. We're back out on the bank for another session. We've got a right luxury on this one. It's Friday today, which means I haven't got to get up at half past four in the morning, start packing all my gear away and get off to work. I've got until about 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It gives me almost 20 hours fishing. I've come back down onto the Long Lake for this session. Last time I fished here, I went away feeling a little bit sorry for myself and licking my wounds, if I'm going to be honest. Last time I was down here, you may have seen the video, I was in peg 12 or 14, I think it was. I had the lost carp. I had a tent shortly after that, which removed the salt from the wound. But I've come down here today, back onto the Long Lake, to try and redeem myself, if possible, and catch a carp on this session. I've got down here nice and early, as early as possible. Um, I literally finished work, got straight back down here. So the first thing for me to do when I got down here, before I got any rods out, was to have something to eat. Just quickly have, give me, get myself a cup of tea, give myself a little bit of energy. Ready for the session ahead. So here we are, we're out, we're happy, we're fishing, we're on the Long Lake. Welcome back. We got a chunk in the net, or have we got a chunk in the net. Look at this bad boy. Look at him. That is an absolute unit. As you can see, I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> I am so happy. I think I've redeemed myself from losing the fish on the last session. Wow. Right, I'm gonna get the fish out. I'll look him quickly, um, put him in the net, get him back in there, and get that watch straight back out on the spot. Even though we've had a gun, there might be another one out there. start to the session that was absolutely over the moon with that as you probably saw from the footage earlier I was probably a little bit too excited but it's so nice to come down here and have one out after losing the one last time what a result that was lovely common absolutely lovely common looked like she was just about ready to spawn she was nice and dark what a lump absolutely over the moon just coming up to about half past nine the day's gone and passed quicker than I could have ever wanted it to I've got both rods positioned for the night, as you can see just behind me. So the floating island that's out just in front of me here. I had the fish from the left hand side of it, which is here. That's where I had that from. So that left hand rod's gone back out there. The right hand rod has gone just out to the right hand side of that floating island. Now earlier it absolutely belted it down with rain. It was absolutely smashing it down. I forgot to bring me infill panel on my body. Of course I did. When the rain has settled down a little bit, enough for me to have a look at the water and see what's going on. There's been a lot of fizzing coming up around this island here. And there's been a lot of fizzing coming up a little bit closer to me, around about this sort of area here. And then over towards the far margin, there's a little gap. Can't see it too well, but it's just there. And there's been fizzing coming up around about here somewhere. So there's fish in the area, which is a good sign. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chill out under the brolly, relax a little bit. Looks like the rain's going to be on and off all evening. One added and good advantage to that though is the last couple of days it's been really hot, really humid. The pressure's been right up uh, since then. Since the rain's come on today, the pressure's dropped right off. You can actually feel it in the air. It's dropped right down. Um, so hopefully that's going to bring the fish on and we'll have maybe one, maybe two through the night. Who knows? We'll wait and see. But I'm going to lay under the brolly, chill out for a while. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you in the morning.
good morning. What a lovely wake up call that was this morning down here on the Long Lake. Just coming up to about half past six. I had that fish at about 10 to 6, something like that. Fish has been released, got the rod back out on the spot. And I'm pleased to report that that is the third fish of the session and the third 20 of the session because I also had another one out last night that went off at 2.30 last night, 2.30 a.m. this morning, should I say. And that was another nice common and that one went 23 pound one ounce. So look at that, what a result we've had. We've had three 20s out so far. We've had a 24, a 23 and a 21. So what a result and all fishing just to the edge of this island here. Literally just little under on cast out to that spot. And they've all been caught on the cafe, what I call the cafe corn rig, which is just basically a bottom bait rig. Um, with two bits of plastic corn on it with a number one shot underneath that and that's it nice and simple nothing complicated so that common that we had this morning the 21 pound 12 ounce uh, he was the right old character he was blind in one eye um, one of his eyes was just completely jet black he's really weird sort of looking thing he was he was a lovely fish um, but that eye was just completely jet black so he won't be too difficult to recognize if I catch him again and then also on the bottom of his tail a bit of it had just kind of weathered away. I don't think it was of damage. It didn't look like it because it wasn't kind of whipped. It was just like worn and it was kind of, um, it wasn't open, it wasn't fresh. It looked like a, quite an old wound, maybe that it had just done, been done years ago, but he was a right character, that one. Lovely fish. So I'm going to get the brew on, have something to drink, and watch this sunrise. <laughs> 